All right, welcome back. The big day is finally here. The World Series returning to State 48 today for the first time in 22 years. Boy, it kind of crept up on you from the baseball season, right? But we're so excited and we're live at Chase Field this morning. As you can see today, Nazy anchor Emily Pritchard is helping us get ready for game three. All right, Emily, if fans want to head down there and have a lot of fun, what do they need to know about coming downtown? Good morning, Allison. Well, you know the fun is going to start early. It's going to go all night, and hopefully we'll be celebrating a Diamondbacks victory later on this evening for Game 3. It's all tied up in this series against the Rangers right now, but we want to make sure you are a winner tonight when you come downtown. We don't want you to get caught up in any kind of traffic mess or any kind of traveling issues. First, we want to let you know about this. It was posted at Sky Harbor International Airport. You can see they are getting in on all of the fun and the action. Their departures and arrivals board have been painted in Sedona red, cheering on our D-backs, welcoming everyone that's coming to town, especially I hope those Texas Rangers fans take notice of all the Diamondbacks red that is greeting them at the airport. So having a little bit of fun with that. And maybe you are thinking of traveling not out of town, but downtown today. And that's why we're joined live by Brittany with Valley Metro. Thank you so much for joining us. Dark and early this morning outside of Chase Field. Oh, I'm happy to be here. I mean, you're in your purple. I'm in my answer backs. We are ready for the World Series. Don't you just love Brittany's <laughs> shirt? She has the answer back shirt on because we know our Diamondbacks are answering back and uh, hoping to bring home another World Series championship here to downtown Phoenix. And for people that are heading downtown, um, tell us how they can get around. What is your best advice for people traveling downtown? Well, you said it. It's going to be chaotic down here. <laughs> 50,000 people. How do you get them into downtown safely? You take light rail. It's $4 for a one day pass. I've already seen parking signs for $40. That's nuts. So download the Valley Metro app plan your trip, track your vehicles, and buy that pass ahead of time so you're ready to hop on light rail and come on into downtown Phoenix. And people may be thinking, okay, well, once I get to downtown, where am I hopping off at? Where's it gonna put me? If you can tell people where they will be and really how close they will be to Chase Field once they're dropped off. Oh, you're truly steps away. So we have a station at both 3rd Street in Washington and 3rd Street in Jefferson. We're gonna have plenty of people boots on the ground to make sure you get to Chase Field safely. You know where you're hopping off, you know where you're walking to, because we know that there's going to be tons of fans hopping on light rail and we want to get everybody where they need to go on time. And Brittany, you were saying um, we haven't done this in a while. Uh, World Series is coming back to downtown Phoenix for the first time in 22 years. Mm -hmm. And a lot has changed with transportation downtown. So this is a great option people can take advantage of. Yes, in 2001, there was no light rail. So everybody was parking. Now we have this great option that holds 300 to 400 people with every train coming into downtown. You're saving economically by that $4 day pass. And of course, you get to hang out with fans. That's right. You get downtown, you get ready, you're excited for the game. And it's just a great option. We have 12 parking rides across the entire system. You can park for free and then hop on light rail for that $4. Sounds like such an amazing option. And the app is the best place to find. The Valley Metro app has okay. everything you need to know. Perfect. Download it now and take advantage. Brittany, thank you so much for joining us.